Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'll show you how you can make coordinating envelopes using Stampin' Up's designer paper and its new scoring tool called Simply Scored. So here's the new scoring tool. My camera's on a small tripod so it has kind of a goofy angle to it. But I'll show you some of its features here later on. But I love the fact that we can make envelopes that match and coordinate with our card projects. So if you're, um, you know, if you like to be matchy-matchy like I do, you'll love this technique of how to, you can make coordinating um, envelopes to go with your projects. Okay, so let's get started. The designer paper that I'm using in this sample is um, Holly Berry Bouquet. It's in the current Holiday Mini. And we want to start with a piece of designer paper that's cut at seven and a quarter by ten and a quarter. We're going to put it up against the top and in the corner of our new um, Simply Scored scoring tool. And the scoring tool does come with markers. I'll adjust the camera a little bit up here. It comes with three markers, and I've got the markers set at um, three fourths and six and a half. So again, it's at three. We're going to score the short edge at three and a quarter and six and a half. The Simply Scored comes with a stylus with two different size endpoints. I tend to like the smaller point. I don't think there's a right or wrong. It's whatever you're comfortable with. But what's most important is that you hold it at a 45 degree angle and not perpendicular or you know straight up and down when you score. So we're going to score again at the seven and a quarter inch side. We're going to score it at three quarters of an inch. I just love how that just glides. And at six and a half. Okay, we're going to turn it to the ten and a fourth inch side. And this is where we can move our markers. And we want to have our markers at two and a fourth. And they just pop in and pop out. And the grooves are at every eighth of an inch, so for me, this is the best scoring tool that's on the market. And we want to have the second one at six and three quarters. Okay. So, again, I'm going to, um, using the stylus that comes with it, start up here in the groove, kind of get it started up top, pull it down, come, come to the six and a quarter mark, same thing. Okay, and it, the tray comes, or the scoring tool comes with this little handy holder here, and the stylus just pops in and out. So again, a great, great scoring tool. Okay, we'll put the Simply Scored off to the side. Okay, so now we have our scored piece of paper, and what we want to do is I'm going to just um, lightly fold the corners or fold the score marks now where we had it scored because what I want to do is um, find the corner rectangles that we made using our score mark. And sometimes with the pattern paper, it's a little difficult to see. So I went ahead and just kind of lightly pre folded this so that we can. Whoops! Little camera misfunction here. <laughs> I'll go ahead and leave that in. It's kind of funny because I bet it happens to you guys too. Alrighty, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to cut out the rectangle pieces in each of the corners that we made. So again, I'm going to cut along our score lines. Just make sure that I know where they're at. I am so smiling very big, you guys. Okay, so I'll do that with the other two corners and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my other two corners cut out. And I want this to be the front side of the envelope, so I'm going to flip it over and we'll go ahead and we'll get our envelope created. I've got some Tombow here, and Tombow is going to give us that strong adhesive that we want. And you have a short, a shorter flap and a longer flap here. We want to use the um, the side that's got the longer, the longest side here. 
and that's going to be the bottom of the envelope that we fold up. Okay, so I've got a little bead of Tombow that I'm going to put on either side of this. And you'll want to get your bone folder and make sure you have nice crisp edges here. Okay, and we're going to simply fold this up. And there's our little matching envelope. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then if you want a little finishing touch, you can take the corner rounder to it, and which I'm going to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and slide this into the guides and punch. Do it to the other side, slide it into the guides and punch. Okay, so now I've got a nice professional looking envelope here. And again, here's another one. This is with the Frostwood Lodge um, line of designer paper. And again, we can take our, um, make a card with coordinating paper in with the designer paper that we used. Um, the designer paper packs, you do get two sheets of each pattern. And so um, I love that because then you can incorporate the same pattern into both your cards and your envelope. Okay, so that's how we can use the new Simply Scoring tool in order to make these cute, cute little envelopes. What a great idea for gift giving is a bunch of coordinating cards with envelopes. Thanks for stopping by, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.